Hello, and welcome back to Fando Fridays. Oh, Trixie knows that you are all here expecting your dear friend Marcel Art user to all do the opening, but Trixie needed to do this because, you see, she had found a very, very interesting fanfic recently that she just knows will tick poor Marcel Art Fruit user off to the highest heavens and will make him go at a... Well... Does he want? Trust Trixie. It's going to be a killer thriller. <laughs> oh, wait. Here he comes. Oh, hello, everybody. And, uh, we already did the intro. You, you already did, Trixie? Of course Trixie did. You know she loves you. Trixie, what bad fanfic do you have planned for me? <gasps> Trixie is appalled. Trixie is shamed! You believe that the moment that Trixie says that she loves you, cares for you, nay, shows a sign of affection, it's not because she actually finds you to be a good friend. It's because the, you see the plans of torturing you and making you suffer through a horrible fic. Trixie is ashamed. RPG lover, can you believe this? I believe it. Trixie is angry at all of you, but Trixie is not one to judge, is she, nor is she one to create a bad fa 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 fanfic on purpose. Trixie just figures it would be a good idea if you would check out this lovely little authoress that Trixie found. Uh, oh, sure. Uh, but mind if I do another part of the intro? Be Trixie's guest. She'll have to, she'll get the fanfic ready for you, darling. <sighs> I can say to the Bass Fix people, they're a dime a dozen. And no, they're not exclusive to the Brony community. They have been around since somebody looked up the, uh, Homer's Tale of the Odyssey, read it, and decided that Odysseus needed to pay for leaving his wife behind, and he needed to answer for the crimes of harming his sailors. Heck, I remember that, and I do believe it was Dante's Inferno. You actually see Odysseus there, and his crime for creating the Trojan Horse. Yeah, he's actually in hell for creating the Trojan Horse. Which basically me amounts to... Dante, the writer of Dante's Inferno, decided to do an accusation side and do a character bashing of Odysseus. See, it's been around. They have been around. Heck, you could almost say that satire in general is meant to be a bash fic. And they're all over the place. But that just shows how strangely involved a lot of writers and fans are. Some people care so much about these characters that they want them to pay, that they feel like their characters have been insulted due to the stupidity that they have to deal with. I personally would be more shocked and surprised if there weren't bash fix created in the world. I would be surprised if there wasn't accusation fix on the Brian fandom. Sailor Moon also has a billions of these, too. I mean, when was the last time you ever saw a fic? So, I just gotta sit down and relax and see what type of fic Trixie's got for me. So, what is it, Trix? Oh, you're just going to love it. Love it. It's a Gundam Wing <laughs> and Sailor Moon crossover. Gundam Wing? Oh, wow, that's like my favorite Gundam series. You know... All things considered, we haven't done Gundam Wing at all on this show. I'm really, really kind of surprised. I mean, you would think that, considering how much I love Gundam Wing in general, we would have done it ages ago by now. Yes, it's quite amazing. Which is why Trixie has decided to get you one. Oh, thanks. So, stay here as we here at the Trayberry Memorial Library are proud to present... Week Zero Beginnings by Sailor Star 9. Enjoy. Wing Zero Beginnings. 
by Sailor Star 9. Chapter 1. Betrayed. Oh, really? Uh, oh, look at this. We got a author's note asking a dumb question. <laughs> well, time to move on. The sun was setting on another day in Tokyo. Most of the city was inside with their family and friends, but one girl was sitting on a swing in an empty park. The girl's honey blonde hair, done up in pigtails, was long enough that the ends trailed to the ground as she rocked back and forth, gently petting the black cat on her lap. The black cat looked up at her mistress with sad eyes. Oh, poor Luna. It's okay. It's okay. I wonder what type of person made Yusagi sad. Oh, Yusagi. The cat sighed as the blue eyes of the young woman Yusagi filled with tears. Oh, Luna. How could he do this? Yusagi sobbed as he saw about what happened earlier that day. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Please do not let this be a Yusagi fit. Yusagi gets betrayed by her friends and has to run away thick. I hate these. <laughs> Don't worry, it's not that. Oh, thank God. This is a flashback. Thank you, author. It was very necessary for you to tell me if what was a flat, what was a flashback, and what was not. Yusagi was making her way down to one of her best friend's apartment. She stuck her tongue out of the cat walking next to her, who had just snoring at her. There's no need to be mean, Luna. See how does she sped up her steps? What did she say? Thick. Hello. Luna just rolled her eyes at her mistress. Stop saying that! You're making it sound dirty! Yeah, like it has some weird connection. You know what I mean? Hello. It's hardly my fault you're acting like a complete ditz. Okay. Things that you saw. Things that I never want to hear Luna say ever again! She mumbled before carrying the catch up to the bouncing girl. Yusaki just rolled her eyes and made her way up to the stairs that led to Ami's unit. She stopped and blinked as he heard noises coming from Ami's unit. Um, okay, sentence. Let, let's get you two together here. I, I think you're messed up. She silently moved to the door and slid partially open, gasping at the silently what she saw. Mamoru and Ami were kissing at the podium. Okay, if this, I'm out! Get back here! Oh, no, 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 no. You see, somebody has to finish DSX. Yusagi stood in the cracked doorway in shock. Mamoru, her boyfriend, and Ami, one of her best friends, was kissing. It's kind of find out Ami had a, um, something stuck in her mouth. Yusagi could feel the tears gathering in her eyes as she watched her future shatter before her eyes. There was no way she could stay with Mamoru now. Hello, Yusagi. Ami broke off the kiss and smiled coolly at the blonde princess as Mamoru jumped off and tried to explain. Okay. Thick? I can explain. Wait, I can explain. You see, I've been taken over by a succubus. Well, that explains everything. That's all still things. Yes. I would cheat. Because it's still in my character too, even though I am, even though I get hives at a love letter. Yusaki, however, never forgot the look on Ami's face, the little smile at the corner of her mouth, the look of complete revenge. It had meant, it had meant that Ami remembered. Remembered what? Remember. Oh, remember that one time uh, Yusaki stole uh, Ami's term paper. I said, Warner, it wasn't my best work. Oh, it was a bee worth of material. Luna wants this, her mistress. Cut that out! Please, Cry it's, it's please, it's gonna make me think of weird things. Cry yourself out in the park before running out of swings, before making a decision running off. It was almost an hour before sunset came before it came back. Hi, sunset! Hi! Two girls were following her. Isaki looked up when she heard them calling her name. Yusagi! I'm going to guess it's one of those two girls. Since there was no description, I'm going to guess one, one of them might be the sensei. 
The two girls were running towards her with Luna in the lead. One was tall with her brown hair and done up in a ponytail and her green eyes filled with worry. The other had blonde hair that fell to her waist with a pretty red ribbon that keeping the size out of her face. Her blue eyes were white with relief. Isagi blinked and rubbed her eyes, trying to hide teases of her tears. Makoto! Minako! What are you doing here? Makoto knelt in front of her friend. We were worried about you. Your mom had called and told us she hadn't seen you all day. Minako, wrapped an arm around Yasagi's slate and seat shoulders. When we heard you hadn't been seen you all day, we started searching. The little found us and let us here. What are you doing out here? And why are you crying? Yasagi looked at Oh, shoot. Is this Von Doom or some other idiot? Some other twist. Yusaki looked at her friends before bursting out into even more tears as he explained what happened. Makoto and Minako traded shocked looks that soon changed to anger when they heard what Ami had done. They held her friend up and led her to where the three other women were waiting by her car. Oh, great! Now we're getting to Yakuza! Shisagi sighed when she saw them. It must have really worried them as soon as the others are here. She saw as she slid into the car between Minako and Makoto. It was long before she fell asleep on Minako's shoulder. Minako and Makoto traded looks before turning back to the three women in the front seat. Sasuna had long, dark green hair with a little button in the middle. Her dark eyes never leaving the sleeping figure in the back seat. The driver named Haruka had short blonde hair, which made her seem like a boy that she would like to portray. Her green eyes were serious as she drove down the nearly deserted street. Warning! Warning! We are firing on... <laughs> Vi uh, Violet Unicorn Syndrome! Repeat! Repeat! The only one car in the car was Masiru. Wait, I thought there were three girls in the car. How's Masiru the only one there? Green hair, that's the color of her worried green eyes perfectly. What happened? Masiru asked as he turned to stare at the three in the back seat. Must have been- That must be one hell of a car! Oh, this is Maruka's car. Yeah, but to, to, to have three people in the front, three people in the back? Ah, time work technology. Minako and Makoto traded bugs before repeating what Yusagi had told them. And now we don't know what's going to happen. Makoto says he finished the story. It's not likely she'll be getting together with Chiba, and I doubt she'll ever trust Ami again. Oh yeah. It's not like Isagi will probably uh, actually ask Mamoru what she did wrong, and then ask Ami what she did wrong. After all they had gone through, all they had done, none of these said she could understand why Ami and Mamoru would do what they did. Hey, I want to know! Me too! was sad. There's not much we can do. While the future y'all saw was true at the time, no future is truly set in stone. Ah, so we're going Star Trek! Oh, please, don't tell me you both are going to go into an overlong, overcomplicated examination of time travel theory! Well, like, you know, maybe if we went by multiverse theory, we could construct with what Doctor Who says, say, Ah! Makoto looked at the sense of time and space. So, Chibi Yusa won't be born? Sasuna just shook her head. All things considered, I shouldn't even remember who Chibi Yusa is. Haruka grabbed the steering wheel harder. The future isn't important right now, she said, calling slightly when Masiru laid her hand on her thigh. Yes! Mm -hmm. Haruka's right, Masiru commented with a sad smile. The only important thing now is our princess. And your daughter! She just lost her best friend! They looked at still sleeping school or girl with tear tracks down her face. And Nako sighed. What can we do? Ami is still a sailor since we can't just kick her out. Yes, I can. They all jumped at the sound of the rescue voice that made them all jump. Ruka slammed on the brakes. Sadly, since none of them were wearing their seatbelts, they all flew out the front window! Glad they were in the certain stretch of road near where she and Monsieur were staying. They turned to look at the now awake Yusagi. Even with red marks on her face, she looked determined and resigned. 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 
What do you mean, princess? Sasuna would never say that! As they all stared at her questioning looks, no one did not look surprised with Luna, who just shook her head. Yusagi sighed and curled up to Mitako, who wrapped her arms around her friend. I mean, I was once told that if one says he did something that betrays their princess, they could be stripped of their powers for treason. I don't recall that ever being a thing. Is that what's true? Then why has Lily's wise Hotaru still around? Well, hey, technically Hotaru is doing her job! When, when she nukes things, she is doing her job! She's not betraying anybody. She just has to, she just got her job going for her. The other women looked stunned before looking to Luna for any confirmation. Luna just sighed and nodded her head. It's true, and while I would have preferred that it never came to that, I'm afraid I had to completely agree with Yasagi. Ami does not have the proper attitude to be guarding our princess. Because, gus darn it, her cheating on Yasagi and making out with Mama-chan is so totally grounds for that! The other said he couldn't stop staring at their princess. They had just been told that they could take their powers away. Something they all thought was impossible. What? It, yeah. It is kind of impossible. I mean, uh, unless you get, get rid of that nice little headshot stick. Yeah, it, can, it kind of is impossible since you're reincarnated! You know, that little reincarnation thing? Reborn through timeline, meet again and again. Yara since he couldn't stop. It was Haruka who broke the uneasy silence that had fallen in her home when he said she were meeting. Whoa! Ow! How did we get to her house so damn quick? Magic. Ooh. But then what happens to the power of Mercury? Yusaki looked at her friends. It'll become a crystal that'll be locked in my fruits until I find a suitable replacement. Do you not understand how reincarnation works? Yusagi and the others were reincarnated. You can't just take away the powers from her and just say, oh, by the way, we're stealing the powers from her. When she is reincarnated, you need to find another person who's reincarnated in the Mercury family line. It's not that hard. It's Basic facts! Reincarnation! A meeting and I wasn't invited. A mocking voice sounded from the door. I'm hurt. And what are you doing here? Makoto growled as she stood up next to Minako, both looking like they were seconds away from a fight. Setsuna looked between the three girls, and sta standing there as trust. Ami oh, just snoring forth further in the room. Mamoru stayed where he was, like a good doggy, good boy. He just stared back with an empty look on her face. Why did you betray our princess's trust? Okay, so now we're going to get into a reason. Now we are going to get into a solid logical reason. I have a feeling that whatever is falling explanation happens, I can be guaranteed that it will make the absolute most possible sense. And will not cause me to start screaming my little head off and wanting to run away. She asked, looking for one another as she thought she could find the answer by looking. Ami snoring. We betray princess. She echoed with a sneer. And the blonde girl just stared back at her with a frightened look. She was the one who betrayed us first. What? And the sense he's confused Luke, she confused violently. Have you girls ever wondered why the Sinto turned against us? Um, because Queen Beryl convinced them to? Yeah, Queen Beryl's kind of a bitch. Uh, she forced them to, and so did Metallia. She convinced all of Earth that the Silver Millennium was evil, and she forced them to. At least that's the way I've always remembered it from the Magna. At least that's how they described it. Because our seemingly flawless princess turned him against us herself. What? I agree, what? 
What? <laughs> I'm sorry, I misread the line here. Uh, my glasses are dirty, and I'm going to read, read the line here. Because our seemingly flawless princess had turned them against us herself. I'm wet. Excuse me a sec. Previously stated, it was Queen Beryl who did it. Queen Beryl was a member of the High Court back on Earth. <coughs> Sorry. She was in love with Mamoru. She was upset that she couldn't have Mamoru. So thus, she made a pact with Queen Metallia, who told her that for the low, low price of your soul... She could have Mamo Chan if she wanted. Mamo Chan could be hers. Then she used her magic to control the other Satuo. Shoot. They even met in this in the manga. You won't be satisfied with ending me on Serenity. You wanted more. I don't know. She looks pretty satisfied with her boy toy before. She casts an accusing look at Yasagi. And who better than the lovers of your own guardian Setsi, right? Hun, you must have went gaga over Crystal. I'm the princess. All right, who are you when you're done with Yasagi? With a backbone tempered by humiliation, Yasagi flared up. If I want to cheat you, Minako, Rei, Makoto, Ava, Love Life, then I will. <laughs> wow. That one line pissed me off so much that I punched my laptop screen. I broke her. It's a good thing I can establish repairs. Not that caring the girls are in a room hearing this. You said she don't deserve. Die, 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 die. I'm a happy face. I'm a happy face. I love life. I love life. Hey, happy face. Die. Pow! If I can't be happy, he doesn't deserve to be happy. You said he don't deserve love. I am the princess. That's why only I deserve everything you girls have. Well, that vice ball looks so yummy. Uh, you're not afraid of me? Should I be? Oh, wow! I can't believe it! It's my favorite hero of all time, Sailor V! Why, thank you. She's a mysterious girl who has wa weird powers. Wow, sounds so awesome! Ami, I really need you for that. this. Oh, you just want my brains. No! I need you to hold this for me! I'm trying to sew a new cape! And I'm kind of so bad at sewing. <laughs> Oh, my eye. I just don't. Ah! <laughs> if I can't be happy, nobody deserves to be happy. And that's why you used the Quinshisha. 
What? What? Ami sneered. Like how you used your precious crystal to make Uranus and Neptune submit. Huh? To quote Ray with one of my favorite quotes, what month, time, date, and year did this happen? Admit, without your precious crystal, you're less than nothing. You're harmless and you know it. I don't know. She does have a buzzsaw that could probably cut you in half. You didn't think I'd retaliate, did you? You had this coming, Yasaki. You destroyed my life! Yes. She destroyed your life. By making sure you're not a doctor. By preventing you from completing your dreams. By stopping you from doing what you want. And proceeding to stop you from going out and living your life. Because that is so totally what Yasaki has done. Yasaki so totally does that. Why, I remember how many times I've watched an episode and I saw Yasaki proceed to tell the girls that they can't live their lives because... Of her own desires. Why, it just makes sense. I mean, surely you remember that episode, don't you, little brother? I remember it. I mean, it's so obvious that Yusagi would do this to, to her and ruin your life. I mean, that is so totally what happened. No, it didn't. It doesn't make sense. What type of story show have you been watching, author? She gave the blonde a sickening sweet smile. That's why I destroyed your future. And Tiva-san, she turned to Mamoru. I truly apologize for hypnotize for the role I hypnotized you to play. You're no longer needed. And rape! You, and you, and you hypnotized Yusagi? You raped him! Who's the real villain here? She is! Rape! This is rape! It's a rape whistle. One in, one or two guy one uh, two guys in an anime story will be raped. Per perfect. Rape. What? Maru blinked as Ami released him from her hypnotizing spell. Um, you know, if your plot was to ruin Yusagi's life, you just failed at it. Yeah. Because yeah. now Yusagi realizes that you hypnotized. Him. Mm -hmm. So now she'll forgive him for his mistake. Yeah, and kind of, um, and, and now she'll kill you for, you know, raping him. Ami revealed the Pariba. Par. Bye, ba crystal or tied around her wrist. Parbai ba. I wouldn't. Come here, I need somebody else to examine this. Parbai ba. I don't know. I checked on Google. I got nothing. Crystal exploded into a full light as her normal clothes were replaced by her battle uniform. Mercury is no for his head's form no longer part of the Silver Alliance. I'm going to move my planet out of the solar system! She declared. Look, well, it's a heck of a lot better than being demoted. And therefore, ladies and gentlemen, I bid you all farewell. Hyperspace Arena Formation Dimensional Portal! The Mercury Guardian then laughed as he stepped through the swirling gateway. As chaos erupted amongst the remaining Guardian Senshi. I'm not even... Okay. Not even one chapter in, and already I think this thing is one of the most deplorable pieces of trash I've ever seen in my life. Oh well. It can only get down from here, right? In a dark apartment unit somewhere in Colony Cluster L2. Ami was at her laptop, working on the last remnants of the sleeper organization's accounts. With a cup of coffee at her work desk. Thanks so for the heads up, Howard, she muttered, reading the last email Howard had sent her.
A faint click on the door informed her that she had an unwanted visitor. I was wondering when he showed up. Look, right now, I don't care who you're looking for, because I don't know who you are! Figuring for her hunting knife. Well, here goes nothing. No. Nice to see you, Q-Bean. Q-Bean? Q-Bean? Uh, see voice, causing the deranged blonde to fall to the floor for a second. I know what you're here for. The leader of lost souls. She turned her chair to face him. The blueprints of Wing Zero, right? How would Katra know where it is? Unless this is during the time Katra went Coco for Cocoa Puffs. But the Wing Zero had already been built. Put that gun down, Q-Bean. She put the silver wide. It won't do you any good if you actually killed the one person who knows the Wing Zero's layouts inside and out, would it? And she gave Katra a serious look. Wait. Katra? That's supposed to be Katra? Well, I guess this is during when Katra went into Cocoa for Cocoa Puffs. Katra growled. I want to use the Gundam, the Wing Zero, to destroy the craziness of the universe. Destroying the weapons of the universe is my mission. The colonies are armorizing, therefore I must destroy the colonies too. You will help me. He trained a cold look at her. Um, I'm pretty positive this is not how the Wing Zero is found. Yeah, and that one's not the Wing Zero's creator. Any help I provide comes with a price tag, you bean. Therefore, you better be prepared. Better pay out, prepare to pay up, cat. She purred up in her ear. Nothing, press little kitten. She spurred as a voluntary server. Just business. Well, Catra is rich, so how much? What? Catra stammered before Ami silenced him with a sensuous kiss. Hormone's going to overdrive. What? The platinum, Why? the platinum bl uh, blonde allowed her to lead him into the bedroom. So, let me get this straight, honey. Your idea of a better character is someone who decides to rape the men in her life, force men to get what her want, and use sex for what she wants. Am I right about this? The next morning. Damn! Kendra let out a rare curse when you woke up to a strange ceiling and unfamiliar bed. Last night, I didn't. You had to say goodbye. Crap. He muttered, realized his first fears had come true. He slept with his first crush. Actually, technically, his second crush. We all know what his first crush is, right, people? Brown hair. Suits to the side. They played violin and uh, flute together. Uh, oh. <laughs> we all know his first cross is Trella Barton. I never believed you were a yaoi shipper. He's all, he's, he's a, he, Greg, he, 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 sh he ships uh, Yuri. I don't think a yaoi ship is, is the beyond him. Yes, but Tracy always thought that he was just trolling with that girl from the from the circus. She didn't think he would also tr ship troll a Katja. Tracy thought he wouldn't go for the obvious ship. Oh come on! Look at how they play the violin and flute together. They're so cute. Well, Tracy has to agree. They are adorable. Tell me about it. I mean, they're so cute and so sweet. I mean, come on, who wouldn't want to ship those two? Oh, I agree with some of you Yaoi fangirls. They are just too adorable. I see you're up. Ami oh, you knowing from her spot in the kitchen counter where Katra entered into the bathroom. Coffee? She poured out the mug. Tea? Monster? You don't have to worry, you Q Bean. She chuckled. I'm not going anywhere. You fulfilled your half of the bargain. I'm not one to fulfill my promises. Finish your coffee and get your stuff. We're leaving for your grandfather's lab in half an hour's time. She slid off the counter and sauntered off. 
That girl's going to be the death of me one of these days. Ah, no, Katra. That would be Misa Amane. Because she has the death note. And she doesn't want you to be Katra. She wants you to be her beloved Lightkin. Meanwhile, back at the Sailor Moon universe. Chapter 2, Aftermath. Um, Vic, um, would it be too much to ask if uh, we not go back and stop right now? Um, pretty please? Free, please! Meanwhile, back in the Sailor Moon universe, chaos had erupted after Guardian Mercury's departure. <laughs> no! Discord! Back! Back! Wait, 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 wait! Discord! I was wrong! Stay here! Stay here! We need you for this, Discord. Look. This fanfic is so horrible. So effed up. And it's crying so numerous that it needs your guiding touch. We need you, Discord. Will you do this for your country? Well, here's the thing. I'll just, I'll change one thing about this fic. Right, anything. Wait a minute, what am I saying? I, I, this is leaving the room for... There you go. No! Oh, you changed the... What's the text? It's now blue instead of white! <laughs> I hate him. Usagi, explain. Well, for one thing, that's Queen Chrysalis. Makes about as much sense as anything else on this fic! I... Was what Avi said true? No. No. Makoto was shocked. Did you? No. No. No wonder all the guys fall in love with you. All the... All the... All the... No, no, no. Usagi falls in love with a lot of... And girls, don't forget girls. Yasaki falls in love with the girls. Yes. Uh, let, me, let me count off who she fell in love with. Ray, Makoto, Sailor V, Matoki, Haruka. Haruka. Wait, I fall in love with Haruka. Me too. Mamaru. White Saya. Knight. White Knight. Say, uh, oh, um, I'm sorry, but my allegiance belongs to Athena, Yasaki. Wrong Saya. Can I pretend that it's actually Saint Saya? Because thinking that the Starlights are actually, uh, they are actually, uh, the heroes of, of Saint Saya would be so awesome! Yes, it would be. Oh, and... Search oh. for your love. Oh, and just gay. You guys, you got that. Any girl would fall for just gay. Yeah, that falls on his eyes. I mean, he's smooth. Cool. Classy. And awesome. Yeah, his hair's awesome too. Thank you. Minako accused. Her patron goddess famous infamous fury and if roared in. Was Venus always Known for being angry? Very possible, I never saw that. You used the Quinch Feast to make them fall in love with you. Allie! How? Diamond! How? He fell in love with Yusagi's look! And not. not the Quinch show. Even Saya! Technically, Saya's a woman. So, she didn't make all the guys fall in love with her. Apparently, she also went with the girls. I bet if you had the chance, you'd make Yatsu and Itaki love you, too. Um. Again, technically, they're both girls. Um. So, obviously, she's making the girls fall in love with her, too. You'd be screwing them, too! No. Minako. That's not true. Isaki's pleading eyes went to the hours. Haruka! Mishiru! Anybody get me out of this thing! It seems our degenerate princess was nothing more than a boyfriend stealer. All those notions about love seem to have gone straight to her head. Apparently, she couldn't be left alone. And after and Mion left to attend to Terra's affairs, she was quite sad. 
Therefore, she went with the best of scenes with Sorcerer Shituo. What? All those notions about love went to her head. Couldn't be left alone, and after ending beyond what to attend to Terry's affairs, she was quite sad. The Centaurus should be traveling with Endymion! What were they doing? Having free pie? And the... Uh, uh, Mishiru... Um... But... Uh, uh, Mishiru, uh, uh, Mishiru and the others are outers. Uh, what do they care about the affairs of... The... Of Earth? Pick. I just hate that she forgotten. I heard the people who stood beside her all this time in her selfish conduct. Ugh. Well, I think I finally made a full recovery. Everything's going good for me. It seems like the only thing that hasn't recovered for me is my <laughs> memory. To alter an explosion. Fochan. Isagi's teary face turned to her or as her prince. I've always wondered why the Shintello betrayed me, despite everything all of us went through together. Beryl! Uh hello? Is nobody gonna accuse me here? Natalia, I can't believe this. All this effort I put into mind control, into deceiving you, acting like a freaking devil, and people are forgetting me? <laughs> what the hell? Well, uh, you just aren't as awesome as, uh, as, as uh, Queen Nehalenia. Now I know. That was bad. No one talked about it. D.I.J. Whatever. You're no queen of Earth. You remind you that you need me for that. And who's to say I'll still even want you after all this? Um. Do not use Savage Garden in this place! Well, technically, she's still technically Queen of the Moon, and if she decided to, she could move that thing out of the orbit and, uh, well, good luck with trying to control the tides! And who's to say I still even want you after all this? With that, he pulled off a rose and teleported it off. Because he could do that, apparently. Can fly. Actually, just jump good. Oh. Oh, uh, by the way, uh, much art for you, sir. Yes, Trixie? Trixie took the time to check out the author's little character page. Would you like to read it before you continue? Why, sure, I'd like to see this insanity. Oh, why is it that Sepulveda always has the dimension hopping powers crossover fix? I thought she only had time-related abilities. So, for all your talk about the complaining about that, you decide to give Ami a weird power? Thanks to him, we readers have to go through mounds of crap dust to read to a decent Sailor Moon fic. You're not helping! If Magda sent to a war and Demion's equivalent to Sarandi's guardians, why the hell did they portray their prince? Because Beryl forced him to! She used mind control. She possessed him. How hard is this a concept? Sasuna! Yusaki barked, going to princess mode. Bring that bl No, I'm not doing it. No, no, no. No, no, no. Not reading that next line. That is so out of character for Yusagi, it ain't even funny. Whoa, you really got this mad. Oh, you, now you got, I know you're really PO'd. I don't care whatever way you use. The men in black! The The memory eraser devi device! Go minority report on her ass! I want her back here at my feet. So 
sunlight, you will ruin it! I'm sorry again, but I seem to have broken my laptop. In my reigns, I'm going to need to find somebody else innocent to hurt to make me feel better. Ugh. Ugh. Well, at least I'm fine now. My medical bills have rise, risen slightly, and... Dun, dun. Oh, no. Dun, dun. No, 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 no. Dun, dun. No, 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 Oh, my head. <laughs> this, says to her her head while she sits into her sensi form, I cannot do. The future has already changed. The timelines are never constant. So, what if uh, we decided to go with multiverse theory? I thought Sailor Moon went with on a strict, ti straightforward timeline. Don't, uh, don't logic to this, Nick. You only hurt yourself in the end. Actually, I've been hurting him. The rest of the untransformed sense, he found himself left to deep thoughts. Before the younger girls set, Sanji Saki got up and said their goodbyes. On the road to Viridian City! Who would have thought? Minako uttered in disbelief. Yusaki would do such a thing to betray us like this! Well, I can, Rain snorted. That's what I've been telling all of you. She's always been selfish then and now. She thinks only about herself. Why does it even think? How could the You know, folks, normally when I have these moments of rage, I like to bash my head against the wall. However, this is my mom's new house. She worked very hard in getting it, and I would be very, very, very mean if I were to bash my head in. So, instead, I'm going to bash my head against this brick. <laughs> Okay, let's keep going. Well, scare our Rose. Oh, and I can't trust her. When I don't believe in her, why should I follow her? If Yusaki could do that to us at show, who should say she didn't do the same with me on? So. What, Seal's boyfriend? Not only did she steal our soulmates, she took barrels! Whoa, that line was so stupid it actually knocked me out of my confused state. Just. Wow. This thing's gonna get stupid right in a minute. Yep. Then maybe Barrel was justified in attacking the Moon Kingdom. But he, her heart was broken! Yeah, still not justified. But her heart was broken, little brother. There's so many things wrong with this that it really isn't even funny. Now what do In the Hino Shrine! Ow! <laughs> Whiplash! All we do, for now, all we can do is take this as a sign. Maybe we need to do for us for now. We need to do us for now. Let me see how it all, all plays out. If Crystal Tokyo is meant to be, if it's meant to be, it'll have. If it doesn't, then at least we know we didn't waste our time waiting on the absolution that will never come. Well, I still believe in absolutes. All right.
hate this fuck. Me too. Oh, look at this. This girl's saying, oh, is it too hard to review? Just putting this fic up on your favorite list of stories alerts. Oh, well. <laughs> Guess what, honey? I will review it. But the... Why am I looking at a pic of Athena? So, why is there a... Lappy, Google search. Yeah, I'm looking at... This is Athena. You couldn't even give me a pic of Mercury. You went with... Back at the Gundam Wing universe. Ow! With last. Quata. Oh, he blinked for... I see groggly as you said. He didn't. I hope he remembers what I told him about the Zero System. Then again. Godfather. He's gone. I know. Yeah, I tried telling him, but he won't listen. Fences is not a good thing to live for. What about what you just did with Yusagi? Well, at least I'm not a hypocrite. I, d oh, I can't believe this! In space, no one can hear a fanfic reader scream. Wait a minute. This, this, these lines are sounding familiar. Shuttle, they're open. Go ahead and open fire. We have fired. A shuttle emerged from the explosion, transforming to Wing Zero. Catra, Lady Un, wait a second. The Master of Mercurius, I... Using the new Gundams? No. The Ryer didn't. D d d no. It can't be. Well, at least Trotta's here. Yay! No. You can't... possibly mean... that... Wait. Hero? Hero is spelled with two E's! H-E-E-R-O. Not H-I-I-R-O. H-E-E-R-O. If you're going to bring in Hero Yui, one of the most badass Gundam pilots out there... Get his name right. No, you didn't. No, 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 no. Can't be. This Ryer didn't. No. No. She did. The Ryer actually did it. You cheap, shameless, lousy, no excuse, lowbrow, worthless piece of shit hack! You just copy and pasted the the episode scripts from one thing and then posted on there to describe it to us. Only you didn't describe it to us at all. You don't believe me, dear readers? You don't dare believe me? Okay. This writer puts down the Wake Zero. Doesn't tell us what the Wake Zero looks like. Doesn't give us a what it looks like. Nope. No links at all. It's completely gone. Oh, and by the way, Ami showing up. Not mentioned at all through the story. Throughout this chapter. Oh, wait. There's one... One chapter, oh, and then Kadra proceeds to fight, and then, oh, look at... Oh. She even... Uh, oh. The writer even admits it. Ahem. It doesn't matter how the colonies and Oz team up. You have to keep in mind, it marks the end of the war. It also means your missions have come to an end. It's too bad the colonies have been fighting for a change of perspectives, but that's what happens in war. We got accepted. 
The only question is what happens to the soldiers? What happens within our hearts? With you, all of you as Gundam pilots, you are trying to be two perfect soldiers. When you put everything into a battle, you start to think you can change by, the times by yourself. Katra, you're not the only one who feels that way. We all do, but the kinder you are, the bigger toll it takes on you. We only have to fight within ourselves, within our hearts, then we have to come straight to the right conclusions. Even if it means our battles today are meaningless. We have to acknowledge the facts. The five of you have become redundant soldiers. So Katra, just accept it. Turn back to the kind and gentle boy I once knew. I just hope something triggers you to calm down. So he triggers you. Others note, Troll is the one who spoke this paragraph in the original. The author just admitted that rather than trying to write a good dialogue or try to write good scenes on her own, she rips it off wholesale right off the bat from sentence one. Paragraph one, she is ripping off the episodes. That is just cheap, mousy writing. This is basically the author saying, Ah, hell, I don't have any ideas. I'll just rip off something better and hope nobody knows this. You know, another way this is cheap is this. I love Gundam Wing. It's my first Gundam series ever. And I love the plot. So if I try to complain or talk about the episode or insult it, I feel like I'm not insulting the fic, I'm insulting the episode, which I don't want to do. I would rather talk about the episode I love. Sadly, that's not happening with this pile of shit. Oh, and by the way, Tro by the way, that was perfectly in character for Troa, because you see, inside, Troa does have a kind heart. They all have good hearts, even Hiro Yui. No matter how much of a badass he is, he does have a good heart. They're just soldiers, but they still have hearts. You just took one of my favorite lines from here and proceeded to give it to the out-of-character bitch! Meanwhile, there. Meanwhile, there was a. Uh, meanwhile, everybody got to see that. Meanwhile, Duo, Duo Wolfe got to see his brand new Gundams. If you watched the show, you would know. No. Meanwhile, on the Peace Million. How did Makoto and Ray get there? No, 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 no. How did they get? To, why are they there? How did they show up? Why have they? Why have they popped up on this story? The, how did they teleport? When did they teleport? How did they get there? Why are they there? Thick! Please explain! Meanwhile, there's a whole bunch of other stuff that shows there, but that pops up in the show, and apparently the Sentia are there for some reason. I'm sorry if I sound like I'm skipping things here, but if you want to hear Sa Sailor Moon, if you want to hear this story, then I... I've got a great way for you to do that. Go on eBay. Right now, or Amazon.com. Put in Gundam, put in Gundam Wing, put in Mobile Suit Gundam Wing DVD. Then, go to the DVD section and proceed to look up just how much you can buy. Or better yet, go to a streaming site. And put in Gundam Wing. I can guarantee you, you will actually be reading and checking out Gundam.
And oh God, you 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 you're not. You're not. No. No. No, no, no! What's going on? It's so horrifying. What? You need to come here. Stop playing Deus Ex and come closer. This needs to be seen to believe, people. And my apologies to my dear, sweet little brother who has to sit through this. Okay, so I just skipped. I've been skipping around for most of the chapter, and apparently, Suicide Stone got shattered because somehow Makoto and Ray showed up, gave Ami um, the Suicide Stone, and they were keeping uh, Nephrites and Jedi's. Monaco doesn't get Malachi Kunzite st Stone for some odd reason. And she was busy trying to think about Catra and all the things that they have been through and thinking about Zoysite. I see I wasn't the only one looking for an escape tonight. Ami opened her eyes, smiling. Not an escape word, Zoysite. I needed a break. He grinned. I don't blame you, Princess. The state of affairs can get rather stuffy. Ami raised an eyebrow. From what I saw, you seem to be quite popular. Your gaggle must decide themselves with you. So he start roll his eyes. You don't seem to be able to tell when they're not wanted. So he played down. You seem to be enjoying yourself. The man shrugged. They're entertaining. Uh, annoying, but entertaining. The Mercurian princess blinked down. See, your reputation suggests that you are willing to put up with a lot of noise to be entertained. I am not entertained! He shook his head. Reputations are rarely accurate, princess. There is only one woman I'm interested in. A woman who is reputed to be completely uninterested in romance. Some have even called her rigid. You're talking about Ray. I believe her reputation, like mine, could not be further from the truth. The blue-haired woman blinked harder. Plus, that little little wires he was been playing. In her dress? Why would she be interested in such a woman? The candidate smiled, because as smart and beautiful as she is, she has a gentle and musical spirit that calls me. I must confess that one evening, I happened upon this striking woman. She thought she was alone. She was cradling a harp, and the music she made emanated from her soul. She pulled out of her reverie, and she whispered softly, I'm wondering if you can still hear my soul. Hear my heart, hear my soul. Da, da, da. She closed her eyes and sighed again. None of that matters without the answer to one question, though. Why, Zoe Sight? Why? It wasn't voluntary. Catra stated. Zoe Sight, why? Catra stated. Yep. This is the Gundam one. Boys are reincarnated versions of the Situo. That's dumb. <sighs> you motherfucking piece drink piss drinking son of a you just couldn't leave well enough alone. Oh, no, no, no. Now you had to throw the Gundam boys in your pathetic piece of awesome trash thick. Any other revelations you want to say now that we know that Catra is somehow Zoysite? What? Is Troa Kunzite? Which I wouldn't be too surprised, considering the fact that uh, they are, considering the fact that they are lovers. What? Is Duo Nephrite? What about Hero? Who's Hero going to... Who's Hero the reincarnation form of? Huh? Anybody we know? What? Is Hero Jedi? Oh, that's going to be a big bad dang news to Relina. Oh, yeah. Try to break up my favorite couple, will you? This fuck is so stupid! I am right now... Looking at this. And once again, we got more Queen Serenity bashing. Oh, joy. Moving on. Next chapter. On the next chapter, we got basically more people reading and discussing things. And and discussing uh, discussing crap. crap And popping out sto stories. And, oh, yeah. Sex pilots in the Epion. Apparently, he's there. There. 
there, Shocker Shocks. You know, I was half expect. I'm half expecting him to be Malachite by now. Wouldn't be. Su wouldn't surprise me one bit. Next chapter. Everybody's discussing. Everybody's talking, ta ta talking, talking, and. Ray is married to Wolfay. Wolfay is apparently the reincarnated version of Jedi. Makes no sense. Why? Why what is there? Why is it there? Anyway, you guys want to know what's been going on? What's what's got what's got a wing? Trust me. Oh, look, they even pull out the really cool scene where Cut, Catra, and Dorothy realize who realize who's piloting what. And oh, by the way, uh, I got an interesting bit of trivia for you on how Gundam connects to po Pony because this. Will really blow your mind at who Dorothy's voice actress is. Are you ready for this? Okay, so Catra steps into the room where Dorothy is ready. He has his fencing sword at ready. He looks down, goes, "All right, where are you?" Um, over here. Catra looks down, and instead of Dorothy Catalina, sees. A small purple dragon with green scales. Yep, Dorothy is played by Kathy Lacelock. Spike. Have fun watching Gun to Wing for a little while. Yeah, yeah, I will now. <laughs> oh wait, don't we always have fun watching Gun to Wing? So anyway, the show happens as usual. The Senshi do nothing. I mean nothing, less than nothing. Oh, and apparently Troll is the reincarnation first of Nephrite. That would be three. The closest thing that the Senshi do is that like romantic love interest. I would say that's I would say I wouldn't be surprised, but unfortunately I am surprised because guess what? Gunda Wing happens to have some pretty badass women. Valina Noin Lady Yoon Actually, all of the Gundos' girlfriends, all the pilots' girlfriends are pretty awesome. But nope! You sent in these overpowered Senshi and Guess what? If they're not here, they're doing shit! And if they're doing shit, then I don't care about what they're doing. I do not care about them as characters. I do not care about them as... Okay, next chapter. Let's see if we can keep going here, because I'm very positive that that this can only get stupider from this point forward. The final victor. And apparently... Oh, look! It's nothing but the awesomeness of the last episode of Gundam Wing. Yes? Fuck sucks. <laughs> it sucks harder than anybody can think. It makes Von Doom look classy. It sucks so damn hard. The grammar, even though you probably can't see it, is horrible. The dialogue, atrocious. Well, the original dialogue. The Gundam dialogue is awesome, as always. But that's because that's Gundam. It comes from the show. That's another thing that makes this fic suck. You copied off the fic right off the bat. Like, you couldn't come up with your original ideas, so you had to steal from it. Hoping that no pony would notice. That nobody would notice that you were stealing your own stories. And that you couldn't come up with any good ideas for said stories. You just ripped right off from the right episodes. 
which sadly doesn't help your thick, it does help us to make your thick look shittier, and reminds me why I would rather be watching Gundam Wing. And that's another bit. You try to make this an integration. You try to bring in the, the Sailor Sensei so they could be doing something. So that way they could be working for what they are doing. But here's the fun bit. The Sailor Sensei do nothing. And if they are doing nothing, then I don't care. All the Sensei do on this whole entire story is pop up. They just go, oh, I'm here. And then all they do is just proceed to go, Jedi, but why? Nephrite, but why? Kunsite, but why? Oh, I'm sorry. Kunsite doesn't show up. And neither does Minako. For some odd reason. What? Too blonde for you? What? Couldn't think of any uh, Gundam pilot you wanted to rip straight out so that way you could just say, Oh, well, that's Kunsite all along. What? Didn't feel like talking about using sex for some odd reason? You, <laughs> you hack piece of shit! What's more? Not only are the Senshi useless, but for all your talk of saying that, oh, Yusagi's a purity shoe, Yusagi's a purity shoe. Well, guess what? Do you know what happens when you have a bunch of girls just gain their love interests right off the bat, and they don't have work for it, they don't have arguments, and they don't fight for it? Yeah. Congratulations, hypocrite! You just disproved your own thick! You just made me realize what a lazy piece of shit you are, because apparently, according to you, Yusagi is a parody Sue, and your characters are perfect! They're heavenly! Well, I'm not exactly seeing that. All I'm seeing is you rubbing your dick in my face and telling me that I should fell down and suck on it and to worship the characters from which they stand! Well, guess what? I don't bow, and I don't do requests, sweetheart. How about you take lessons from me? Shut up, and don't write. Because apparently, you're not good at this job. You apparently don't have any idea what it means to do character, story, or plot. All you're considering is just, oh, I want to pull this off. Oh, I want to do this. However... You're giving us all flash and no substance. All you're doing is just giving me an episode and a series I would rather be watching at any given moment. So, F you thick. That was one down. Thousands more to go. I'll see you next time. Oh, I almost forgot to mention this. After seeing this little bash fic, this little accusation fic, I've got this to say. Take me back, brony fandom. I've learned my lesson. Because, you know what? I'll take it. I'll take all the badly done accusation fics, the bash fics into brony fandom. Because, you know what? At least most of them are well written. At least most of them have good ideas. At least most of them feel like the people writing them care. This doesn't have that at all.